Yes, the receivers are there, but, you know. On power formation. Give us a J.K. Dobbins hit, stop short, and he won't get the first down. Caden Ellis breaking through the line to stop the Ravens, and they will turn it over on down. You stay around. This one should be returnable. Duvernay at the goal line, brings it across the 10. Looking for a gap at the 20. He wrestled down at the 24-yard line. Well, we talked about expanding. For almost uh, 192 yards a game. A game? A game? That's sound like college. So third and one. Power formation. Williams carrying to the right side. Second effort. That can just churn his way close to a first down. That's all on him. That's just good play by that linebacker that's great. But they've got an extra player on the back end coming in because the, the offense line did a nice job on the double team. That on third and seven, Trace McSorley, blitz pressure coming. He is thrilled, but he throws a strike to the 42-yard line. Devin Duvernay will move the chains. Before he that far. I thought he was in that, that buffer. McSorley scrambles to his right, tries to extend the play. Now the top of run, and it's spun out of bounds after a short game. Third and 11, McSorley under pressure, scrambles to the left, he's got room, the flag is down. We saw Trace McSorley, shoulder out of bounds, a late flag thrown. That might be a little bit of a whisper of the sideline and somebody hits you, that's definitely a flag. But if you're a star, McSorley out of the gun. Saints rush four, they go screen, Justice Hill sides up one tackle, but it's spun down at the 25-yard line, so it will be the field goal team. Yep. Aggressively, James Crochet on the punt return for the 45, crosses midfield, and is taken down at the Saints 43-yard line. So great field position. Familiar with some of these guys, but don't lose sight of the fact that these are lifetime dreams on the line. Gray will take that one two yards deep, brings it out of the end zone. Across to the 15. To the 20. Taken down to the 23, and a late egg follows Gray to the turf. Guard line. Huntley wants to throw. Has time. His pass is complete at midfield. Tyson Williams wrestled down after Mouse. His advantage cat. Oh, absolutely. Again, third and three. Let's see what he gets. Huntley will throw over the middle. It oh. is bobbled and dropped. Josh Oliver was. But if somebody is unblocked, typically on the edge, that's his own reason for it. Here comes a blitz. Huntley escapes. Coming near sideline. Crosses the 40. Stumbles forward and stretches for the first down. He gets for Josh Oliver who goes in motion. He's in that battle for the third tight end spot. Isan Williams comes back, finds a seat. Picks up seven on the run, down to the fourth, which is very much what we've seen tonight. Tyler Huntley rolls to the right, throws complete. Josh Oliver on a reception. He's got a first down as he takes it down at the 15-yard line. But again, look. In front of the lead, Huntley will throw. He's pressured, runs to his left. Ooh, and he is cut in half. Ball comes loose in the same. I try to get the guys going and, you know, just try to be a leader, try to be a vocal leader more vocal than I was last year. Especially being comfortable this year, so, you know, there's a lot to this year. I, I mentioned this to J.K. earlier in the game. Yeah, this is real by five points. Yeah. Huntley out of the gun. Swing pass. Williams 
stiff farms a man, but is forced out of bounds. And the ball stripped away. Well, running backs, tight ends, linebackers, defensive backs can wear the number from 1 to 19. McCrary running on the left side this time because only two or three. He, he like thinks you think he's a quarterback. Right. Huntley will roll out, throws to Josh Oliver. Oliver at midfield. He is jacked up. I don't know why. No, I mean, that's, that's, I, I like, what I love about Greg Roman is that he puts his quarterback. Move in the pocket. You're exactly right. That's a good choice. Pistol formation. Huntley tosses to McCrary. Sweeping to the left side. Hurdles one man into Saints territory. He's got a first down at the New Orleans Division II program, but he is playing top tier tonight. Huntley with a deep drop. Blitz pressure coming. Huntley escapes to the right. Extends. Rose far sideline. He's got a man there. Tyler Wallace. And we defend like a bed of grass. And we just come up with turnovers and big, and big moments. It's been huge for us. What stood out to you over the course of these first three weeks in camp as you guys build the identity? Out of the gate, nice start for him. Nolan Cooney kicks it away. Here's Chris Claybrooks. And he is smacked down inside the 20-yard line by Chase Hansen. Back to Earth. He's been aware of that and doing everything he can to understand it. On second and 10, Malcolm Jenkins. And get some success going. 0 for 3 so far on third down. Here's third and 11. Here's some pressure by the Saints up the middle. It's picked up nicely and it's caught. Travis Etienne in the game. Some comfort level. For a lot of pressure, got it away. He Big opportunity for him. Robinson out to midfield. Andrew Dowell makes the stop. I think it's the first time I mentioned Dowell's name. He's been a nice surprise in camp. Yeah, Andrew Dallas, uh, he's got to make it on special teams, but they really have liked the way that uh, he has played at the linebacker position. Say he makes just about every day, he makes a play in, in practice, and that's what you need to keep the coach's attention. I figured this thing out on the fly with a rookie quarterback. Quick toss to Chenault, trying to get outside. Excellent job of tackling by C.J. Gardner-Johnson at Saints defense. Final ninth, Saints rushing four. Lawrence gets rid of it to Chennault. And he's to the 45-yard line. Taines, no decision has been made on his end either for the starting quarterback. Minshew throwing. Dare Agunbowale on the receiving end. The flag comes in. Our guard not good enough to block good defensive fronts. And he's worried about Trevor Lawrence getting shell-shocked. And rightfully so. Third down and two. Minshew able to complete. Lumbuale has it for the first down. Listen, had he covered the for 17 games now? So I think you're at some point you have to understand what's the end goal. Rather than the short Philip Dorsett is the other first former first round pick that they brought in. Trying to set it up. It's Ozigbo out of the backfield. Across midfield, he's got the first down and more down the sideline. Still on his feet and still in bounds. Showing some good elusiveness and then just good run after contact. Look, these are the kind of plays that they need. It's, it's time spent with individuals and if they don't have as much time to spend with the players in the pros as he did at Ohio State, and Florida, and, and Utah, Could the task looks. may be a little bit bigger. Farrah Cooper on a hop. I've been impressed by Urban Meyer. I don't think anybody had, he, had any unrealistic expectations. Minshew gets the short pass. Shad has a successful blueprint for building a winner. There's no doubt about that. It's just going to take some time for him to get the people that he needs to enact it. 
wide open for the first down. Nathan Cottrell, his first opportunity. Second year player at uh, Georgia Tech. It's Cottrell again inside the five. If you're looking towards that Jaguars opener, right before the ball gets there. First and goal from the one. And shoot. Cottrell won't get there. There has just been nothing, nothing available. In the football with power and physicality, it just has not been there tonight. Second and goal. Minshew, try and throw for it. And it is intercepted. Intercepted in the end zone. Winton McManus, the rookie out of Memphis. David Onyemata had the pressure, forcing Minshew into the mistake at the goal line. Dennis Allen told us that Onyemata would play some defensive end in the second half just to get him some work there. You see why. That guy's a baller. You had Witten McManus in the pool. You win. It's not fair to have Anya Mata out there. Pain a year ago. Got Jeff Cotton Jr. Oh, big smash. And that Winton McManus who made the pick, he's not done. He's not finishing up this preseason. He's putting some tape down right now. Look, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about here in the second half, and particularly in the fourth quarter, when you get your shot, make the coaches remember you, no matter how many plays you are out there. And then you have to give this New Orleans Saints on both sides of the football. You have to give their players a lot of credit for continuing to play at a very, very high tempo, a very physical tempo, both sides of the ball. They're used to winning division titles around yeah, this four, place. Four straight division yeah. titles. I think it's a little bit of a different animal in Tampa Bay, granted. Uh, but, you know, if, if you can get quarterback play...